In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install an SSL certificate onto your website that's hosted by HostGator. So, let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. I hope you're all well. So, in this video, I'm gonna be installing a SSL certificate onto one of my websites that I've got hosted with HostGator. Uh, the process is fairly straightforward. Um, there is a small cost involved because the SSL certificates that you get from HostGator, they're not free. You have to pay a yearly fee, which is around $35, top of my head, something around that figure. The advantage of having an SSL certificate installed means that people can access your website across the HTTPS protocol. So when they go uh, to your website in their browser, up in the top, they'll get the little padlock, little green thing, and they'll feel nice and secure. Another great reason to have an SSL certificate installed is that Google loves SSL secured sites. So there's a good chance that if you've got SSL installed, your rankings should, or maybe could, improve. Another reason to invest in an SSL certificate is that the Chrome browser is now warning people uh, when you have a site that doesn't have an SSL certificate installed. So if someone comes to your site and they go to fill in a form or something like that and you haven't got a certificate installed, they'll get a warning which could scare them off and make them leave your site thinking that you're some horrible hacker or something like that. Anyway, that's enough chit chat from me. Uh, let's get on the computer and I'll show you how to install that certificate. Let's go. Okay, so the site I'm gonna be adding the SSL certificate to is this one, which is rapidweightlosstools.com. It's a site that I set up in a recent tutorial of mine. Um, it's an affiliate blog type site, and yeah, it's just on the HostGator standard hosting. I think it's actually on the baby plan. I've just upgraded it from the hatchling plan to the baby plan because you need at least a baby plan in order to install an SSL certificate. So if you're on the wrong plan, it will advise you that you need to upgrade and help you do that. So just to check that there is no SSL installed, let's just go to HTTPS colon slash slash, and we get this uh, error that there's uh, there's no cert certificate installed or whatever, so you can't do a HTTPS. So let's fix that by adding a certificate right now. So in this other tab, I've got my um, HostGator control panel login, the one that you get in your original email when you sign up for HostGator. You find the link and the username and password and all that stuff in that email. So yeah, you need to log into your HostGator control panel. Then there's a link here to SSL certificates. Let's give that a click. Okay, and then here we go. We can choose our SSL plan. You need to pick your domain. If you've got more than one that's eligible, choose the right one. I'm just gonna go for this basic protection one. This is an e-commerce one, but that's quite a lot more money. You don't really need that unless you're an e-commerce site that's doing loads of orders online. So for a simple affiliate site, this one will be fine. I'll go for one year, but if you do go for the longer term, you get a bit of a discount. I'm gonna click buy now. And you need to just make sure all this information is fine. Um, I think that's fine. And I agree, and then pay now. Okay. So that's gonna take a few moments for it to kind of go live. Um, so I'll do a quick edit now, and, and then we'll just double check that it's all working. I'll see you in a sec. So it's all done, it took a couple of hours. The certificate is now installed, ready to go, and we can go check if it's working. If we go back to the site. Now I did actually want that red error to still be there, so I could just refresh it and show you, but between the certificate being installed and me recording this and, and, and whatever, and my computer just crashed, completely froze. Just like a PC, actually. <laughs> oh, how I mock those PCs. Macs are so stable. But anyway, my ever so stable Mac, it completely froze, and yeah, I had to reopen all the tabs, so I can't do that little refresh. Um, but anyway, I can still show you that the certificate's working. If we just go up here and type in HTTPS, then that, 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 the colon slash slash. Head over to the site. We can see we've now got the nice green secure um, element with the padlock and it's all green. So it means it's working. So what you might wanna do now is actually force all your visitors to use the HTTPS because at the moment they can kind of visit either site. If I take the S off, I see the normal non-secure version of the site. And then as I say, if I add the S, we get the secure version of the site and you wanna keep it consistent and 
I'd imagine you want everyone to see the secure version of the site. I mean, you've just paid out for that certificate, why not use it? So to do that, we're gonna use a little plugin. So if I go to uh, my dashboard, I'm just gonna log in. And go to plugins and add new. Then in this box, I'm just gonna type in HTTPS like that. And I'm just gonna go with this first one, H oh, sorry, easy HTTPS redirection, just install that. Then activate. And that's all done, that's installed. We can check the settings just here. And I'm gonna tick that box, enable, and I'm gonna do it for the whole domain. And I'm gonna use force resources to use HTTPS. That should mean that we don't get any funny errors of mixed content and that kind of stuff. So there we go, that's done, that's set up. Let's go back to the site and see if we can um, access it over the normal connection. So um, if I take this S out now, it doesn't let me. You see it just automatically redirected me back there to the uh, HTTPS version and, and everything here is all HTTPS. Again, if I just take that S out, try and get the HTTP version of this post, it's forcing me down the secure route, which is exactly what we want. So we're all done, we're all secure, and now we just gotta hope that Google uh, acknowledges all our hard work on installing the certificate and gives a little boost uh, in the rankings. Okay, that's the end of the video. I hope you're all SSL'd up now and nice and secure and all that kind of stuff, and you've got the padlock uh, in your browser when you visit your website. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. I do love to hear from you guys. If you're not already subscribed, then please click the subscribe button. Uh, well, it's not actually a button, it's that eagle thing up there. Give that a click. Here's a video um, from the channel that you might like. It's been chosen specially for you. And there's a couple of other channels that I create stuff for. So uh, yeah, check them out too. Until next time, bye for now.